perceiving your life to suck, then guess what? That's not your life. That's just your attitude, man. And if you're going to meet someone that's high on life, I call them enlightened beings, you're going to see they might have the worst of the worst circumstances going on. But it's not going to deflect. It's not going to deflect off them onto you because that person understands the emotional intelligence it takes to be polished. The things that are happening to you, the things that you are attracting into your life, you have control. A lot of things are going to be out of your control, but guess what? You can control this. You can control this and how you perceive things, what things mean to you. So it's not a matter of finding yourself. It's a matter of becoming yourself and stepping into that power. On this beautiful Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, give thanks to you first and foremost for showing up in life, for breathing, for having hands, for having legs, for having a vessel that walks around. That's yours. That ain't anybody else's. Nobody can take that away from you. Sure, people are going to self-impose their ideas onto you and say maybe you're not good enough, pretty enough, strong enough, or jacked enough, whatever it might be. But guess what? That's their perception. That doesn't have to be yours. It's just like with the world. Just because maybe you're surrounded by people who hate the world and you really deep down don't want to hate the world. That's okay. Just get out of that room. Get far away from those people and know that that might be someone you love, but that doesn't need to be someone you take advice from. So remember this and have an amazing, amazing Thanksgiving and a phenomenal Wednesday. Take care.